In this video, I'm going through how to update the Teams application in an MTR system manually. This can be useful if you need to install the application before it is delivered through Windows Store, or simply because your firewalls are blocking Windows Store updates. Here we have an MTR system that has not been configured yet. The procedure I'm going to show works just as well on a system that's configured and in use. At the top there, we can see the application version, currently 4.10.10. .10. The latest version that exists right now is version 4.11.12. So that's what we're going to install on this system manually. The first thing we need to do is to log in to the administrative account without logging out the Skype user running the MTR application. To do this, we press the Windows key on the keyboard five times, and that takes us to this login screen. We here have the Skype user, which is still logged in, and we can also choose the administrator user. So I'll press that one and enter the password SFB Skype for business, no capital letters. So we are now logged in to the MTR system as the administrator user. So the first thing we need to find out here is which version of Windows 10 are we currently running. So I'll press the box, uh, search box down here and enter WinVer. So that's a command to start a small application showing us which Windows version is currently running. And here we can see that we are running Windows 10 version 20H2. And this 20H2 is important because uh, Windows locks some uh, MTR application versions, or rather they can't be installed unless a specific version has been installed. And the same thing with the MTR application. That one stops Windows Update from running certain updates to Windows versions that aren't supported by this MTR application. This information can be found on the Microsoft document collection for the MTR systems, and I'll show you that. So this is the document collection for the Microsoft Teams room systems. I will link this page in the uh, description of this video. If we go a bit further down here, we can see all the versions that has been released of the MTR application. 4.11.12 is currently the latest version that can be downloaded. And if we go down here, we will see the information about all the versions that has been released. And if we look at 4.8.31 here, we can see that this version introduced support for 20H2. So to get to 20H2, we first need to have 4.8.31 installed. The same goes for if we wanted to install 1909 before, we had to go to 4.5.35. We can see here that it's mentioned here that 1909 was supported here. So this is a good document to go back to to see that we actually can install a certain MTR application on the, this specific Windows version. So we'll go back to the MTR system again, now that we know that we can install the 4.11.12 version on this Windows version we have. And here we can close the uh, Windows version box here. So what we need to do now is to download the installation package for the 4.11.12 version. So I start the web browser and I'll enter the address for the page where I can find the information I need. And we are back at the page for the documents for the MTR systems. 
I will link this page two in the description of this video. So if I go a bit further down here, I have a link here in step one, and I'll press it to download this program. And while that is being downloaded, I'll have a look at step two, which is the information about how to execute this script. So you can see here that it wants me to run command prompt in elevated uh, mode. And I do that by right clicking the Windows logo and choose Windows PowerShell admin and answer yes. And here I have the command prompt where I can run the command. And the command I'm going to run is the PowerShell dash execution policy unrestricted and then the script which is being downloaded so I'll copy that one and go back to the PowerShell here and right click in the box or just press Control V to paste what uh, has been copied and there the file is downloaded and I usually move this file to a more easily accessed place. So I go to show in folder and I right click here and cut it. I'll go to C and create a new folder which is easy to remember and I'll paste the file in the temp folder here. That way I can just write C colon backslash temp backslash MT and tab to autocomplete this command and I press enter and the script will be executed. It takes a couple of seconds first while, while it's uh, being started. And then I press R for run once and hit enter. And the installation is starting. And there we are done. So the last step now is to reboot the system. And when we've done that, the application will start. So the reboot will take about 90 seconds for my system here. And after that, it takes a couple of minutes for the first time when the program is uh, being finished. And I'll cut, to cut here and get back when the system has restarted. And there we are back. And we can now see in the top there that the application version is now 4.11.12. And the last thing here is that remember that if we didn't have a Windows version that support this application version for Teams, the procedure is slightly different.